Since arriving in Mexico, I made the decision that I wanted to hitchhike from Mexico to Colombia alone. My friends and I split up in the city of San Luis Potosi after an adrenaline rushing ride together on the roof of a cargo train, which you can watch in my previous video. I left Victor and Awea this morning, so now I'm on my own and I'm in a city called San Luis Potosi and I'm going to hitchhike to the next city which is like five hours away called Guadalajara. So hopefully I'll have a good day. It had been a long time since I'd hitchhiked alone or even travelled alone before this point, so I was a little nervous but undeniably excited for the journey ahead of me. I just got my first ride on this guy. Come on, Thomas. Miguel. 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 He's driving a massive lorry. Great, I've been waiting for a few minutes, so it's really good. And he's going a really long way as well. Got me YouTube. <laughs> I have about half an hour of driving to go until I'm in the city I want to be in. Just need to cross the road and wait for a good moment. I literally was just crossing the road and this guy stopped as I was crossing the road. He didn't even have to hitchhike, so it's pretty good. the last lift with has just dropped me right on the outside of the city I want to be going to but there was a bit of a miscommunication with where I wanted to get out of the lorry and so now I'm on the opposite side of the city which is so annoying and it means I have to hitchhike directly through the middle of the city and it's about to get dark but I can't really do much about it. This is a policeman who's just stopped and said where I'm stood is way too dangerous and I'm going to get robbed so they're going to drive me to a safe place and then he said he'd pay for a taxi for me which is so sweet so uh, police aren't all that bad Mis cosas aquí? My couch surfing host, so I've finally arrived at her house, and she's actually the first girl I've ever stayed with on couch surfing, so yeah. that's really nice. Yeah, she's my first like amphitriona in my couch surfing experience. I just downloaded like one week ago. Yeah. And I'm staying with her family as well. This is her mum. 
<laughs> During my time in Guadalajara with Gabby, we visited a volcanically heated river, which was so hot that I couldn't even walk in it. actually ended up staying with Gabby, my couch surfer, for five days, even though I only planned to stay one day. So we just got along so well. Like I had such a good feeling before we met each other and then it ended up being amazing. And so now today I'm just trying to hitchhike to Puerto Vallarta, which is about four hours and it's on the coast and um, yeah I've already got two really good rides so hopefully I'll be there quite soon. Muchas gracias! <laughs> San Pancho, the south town I was staying in, was a town I had spent a lot of time in with my parents when I was a child. And this very beach is where I experienced my first earthquake at age three. Before leaving this area, I met up with a very old friend of my dad's, who I hadn't seen since I was 11. When was the last time that you saw me? I think you were around only 11 years old. I don't know the year, but you were very, very tiny. <laughs> <laughs> so this is Greta, who used to work with my dad about 10 years ago, and I last saw her when I was 11. And it's been really, really nice to stay with her, especially in a foreign country, like being with someone that you know so well. Um, and now she's taking me to a good place to hitchhike from, and I'm gonna try and get to Mexico City in the next two days, I hope. By tomorrow night, I want to be there. <clears throat> And it's early as well, so maybe. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe there is a big 